Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hungry House Husband Show. Today I made Dr. Pepper donuts with a Dr. Pepper glaze. And as I run the ingredients up the screen here, I just wanted to profess some admiration that for everybody who has subscribed to the channel and uh, liked my videos, I more people than I ever expected uh, have subscribed and, and liked and it, it really is a, a blessing you're all a blessing and uh, you keep liking and watching I will keep making them and enough with the sappy stuff now so let's go ahead and get these things put together so this is a super simple easy recipe so we're just gonna do it all by hand here we're gonna start off with our bowl with uh, our cup and a half of flour then we are going to go and add our cocoa powder and then our baking powder then our salt and we're just going to combine it all nice and whisked up get everything kind of distributed evenly in there so now in a separate smaller bowl uh, we're going to go ahead and combine our two eggs sugar vanilla oil and then start to mix it up a bit uh, we don't want that sugar to get too hard and stiff we want to go ahead and start basically making a really nasty omelet uh, once that gets kind of liquefied to the point where it's starting to kind of dissolve the sugar we want to pour in our three-quarter cup of Dr. Pepper and then stir a little bit more it is going to fizz up on you so don't go too crazy uh, but once it's combined we can go ahead and get ready to add it to the dry ingredients so back with the dry ingredients we pour in the butter Dr. Pepper mixture and just be sure that you use the right implement not like me I started off with a whisk here it goes from pancake batter consistency to brownie batter consistency in a matter of seconds so go ahead do yourself a favor start off with a spatula or a spoonula and be sure to get the corners of the bowl uh, there's going to be some dry ingredients hiding down there that all need to be incorporated because it's all good donut so at this point you want to make sure that your oven is preheating to 325 degrees and take your donut pan and just start spooning it in uh, filling up the little cavities about two-thirds full uh, is about right they will rise a little bit of course so uh, just to keep anything from spilling over uh, and make sure that the hole is nice and round in the middle uh, just try not to overfill for those of you out there without a donut pan I got this one it was about eight bucks on Amazon uh, so definitely something interesting to have now give them a little tap and in they go for 12 minutes so here we are 12 minutes later they've all risen nicely uh, they are done I did the toothpick test and so now we need to get them onto a wire rack so take your wire rack simply place it over the top and give it a flip as best you can without burning yourself grab it by the end and it should flip up and release them perfectly now they need to cool completely while these bad boys are cooling go ahead and put together your glaze this is uh, combining the powdered sugar the butter the vanilla and just a small pinch of salt uh, and we're going to go ahead and mix that in with a little bit of Dr. Pepper start at three tablespoons it may end up being too little or too much so three tablespoons a good happy medium now if yours is too thick 
uh, add a little bit of Dr. Pepper as I do here. And if it's too thin, then add a little bit more powdered sugar and just kind of go tablespoon by tablespoon or so uh, until it's the consistency that you like. Now, once you get it to the consistency that you're happy with, take your donut, just drop it right in, swirl it around a little bit, and you will see that the glaze will stick. It will harden as it dries, and it will be absolutely delicious. And there we have it, chocolate Dr. Pepper donuts with a Dr. Pepper glaze. The Dr. Pepper flavor really does come through surprisingly uh, strong in the cake itself as well as on the back end of the icing. Definite plus for anybody that loves Dr. Pepper. Uh, I would make these again in a heartbeat. In fact, I'm thinking this may be a weekly thing. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to get comments. So until next time, may your life and your food always have flavor. Bye-bye.